So you're thinking about moving to Easley, South Carolina, and you want to know what it's like to actually live here? Well, in this video, I'm going to unpack what it's like to live in Easley, South Carolina. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about Easley, South Carolina and the surrounding areas of Greenville, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything in the upstate. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team, and we want to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. So whether it's a week from now or a year from now that you're moving, make sure you reach out to us so we can help you. I'm gonna jump right back into the video so you don't miss out on anything. So going over things with Easley, we wanna know about the things to do in Easley, right? So I'm staying in front of the Doodle Trail. Um, it was named the Doodle Trail because it looked like a doodle bug, because it could not go forward anymore, turn around, it had to back up from when it went all the way down to Pickens and back. So what had to back up? I should probably back up with what I'm saying. The train. So the, this is actually built on an old train track that runs 8.5 miles. And it was a train track that ran from Easley down to Pickens and back. And they turned it into much like other areas where there's a Swamp Rabbit Trail and there's a Mary Black Trail in Spartanburg. I love how they have revitalized our area by taking train tracks and turning it into places where you can run, where you can walk, you can walk your dog, if they're on a leash, you can do biking. The cool thing after talking to some people about this particular trail is that you would much rather run here a lot of times than Swamp Rabbit in their opinion because there's less bikers, there's less traction of other people with traffic. You get to have an enjoyable experience and a lot of these people know each other. They keep bumping into each other, hey, hey, because they keep seeing each other from the times that they come. So it's a camaraderie here. There's other things to do in the area, like the downtown area. And I'll make sure to have part of our video about that too, but I want to make sure we mention it. And there's the silos, which is also a cool thing. And it's starting to pop up all over the upstate to have outdoor areas. There's one in Spartanburg. There's the gather Greenville and Greenville where there's an open air space where you can enjoy things that there's restaurants and there's things to do and you can bring your family on a Friday and Saturday and have a lot of fun there's the golfing here there's Smithfields which I'm not a golfer but I hear it's a tight um, thing or whatever that's supposed to mean <laughs> but I've helped a lot of people buy in that neighborhood that love living there so whether you're a golfer or you're not a golfer living into that area is a great experience the homes that are built there are wonderful. Um, Candace and Bobby that live there have genuinely loved their property. And there's several others that we know and have helped there. There's things like hiking that's not just on the trails, because obviously there's no hiking on the trail itself. This is right next to the Saluda River. You're not too far away. So you can go on the Saluda River, you can go hiking. You get to enjoy the outdoors you're not too far from going to a Clemson game. They're about 30 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, depending on traffic. You can get to Lake Hartwell, Lake Kiwi, and so easy of a path. It's just really great. One fun fact about Easley, that if you're not into baseball, you may not know, but this is where they have the Little League World Series. It's happening right now. So teams, Little League teams from all over the world, not just the United States, all over the world are coming to Easley, South Carolina, to play in the World Series. It's a really fun experience for them and we wanna make sure that we touch on that. So one of the things you're gonna think about when you're living here is where you're gonna eat. So the silos is where I'm at right now and it is a really cool open air space like I was saying. And as you look around, you're gonna see there's seating outside and there's different types of seating. You can be underneath the covering where there's a large screen TV, there's ample chairs over here, even outdoor chairs with cushions and stuff like that. There's lots of places that you can sit if you're if you like tables, if you like to just enjoy, there's even a fire table. And then as you go further, you're gonna see the different restaurants that are containers, just like in Gather Greenville. So when we say containers, they took storage containers, they cleaned them all up, they made them sound, and then they turned them into food spaces for them to be able to serve you. And there's lots of places like Thai, and then there's like a loaded potato places. You have all these different contractions of taters is what it's called. And then there's a coffee place, and then there's the Silos Brewing Company, Company. There's so much to enjoy at the silos, but it's not just the silos. You have lots of things to choose from in Easley. There's even a coffee shop that is at a mortuary. Creepy, but good coffee. So there's lots of things to enjoy here. There's restaurants, there's big name restaurants, like there's chain restaurants, even the fast food things like Chick-fil-A. You're not going to have like 
nothing to choose from. It's not downtown Greenville and it's not Simpsonville, but easily still has a lot to offer when it comes to food choices. If you're an avid coffee drinker, then coffee is gonna be high on your list. And if there's not a coffee shop other than Starbucks, you're not gonna be excited to move to Easley. But I've got great news. We have tons of them here. The best one that I've found so far is Old Post 1940. That's where I'm at right now. It is an old post office, Old Post, that was in the 1940s. Get it? I love their play on words. It has had different transitions for different places like a law firm and different places that have happened inside here. But Old Post has been here for a little bit of time, maybe a few years, and they're crushing the experience. It is such a phenomenal experience. The ambiance is wonderful the music is wonderful the coffee the chai the snacks it, it's just such a great um, feeling when you come here they have everything still like when it was a post office when you come in the door it just feels like the old time you feel you can rent it out for um, weddings or wedding receptions bridal showers this is a really great staple of Easley. You want to check this out when you're here. There's places like Anthem Coffee, there's Iron Horse, there's Vanessa's. There's so many places to choose from. You do not have to just get Starbucks. But there is a Starbucks here if you need Starbucks. If you're just needing a drive through experience just to get your jolt for the day, if you need a red eye, it's been a long night, you can totally do that. If you're wanting a low key chill experience, I would definitely say you want to venture over here or take a gander at all the other places you can look at when it comes to coffee and Easley. So when you're thinking about living in Easley, one of the things you're going to wonder is where you're going to shop. Well, obviously there's big box stores on 123, Highway 123. You're going to have Home Depot, you're going to have Target, you're going to have the places you want to go. There's also a beautiful downtown where we are right now. And if you think about it, you can shop all these cute stores and stay local. There's tons of coffee shops like the um, Old Post 1940, there's the silos is right down. You could park here or if you lived close to downtown and literally just walk through this, spend your evening over at the silos at the restaurants, maybe have a beer at the brewery. It's a really great experience. As I walk through the downtown, I look at how clean it is. I look at how everything's being revitalized. There's a working train still here. How cool is that? You bring your little kiddos down and they get to see a train go by. I don't know a single child that I've ever been around that saw a train that wasn't like, oh, it's a train. So if you want to have a good experience and you want to go to see different places, going to downtown easily for shopping is one of the things you need to do. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about moving to Easley, South Carolina. If you have any questions about the upstate, make sure you reach out to me. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team, and we'd love to help you have a smooth transition. All of my information is below. Make sure you reach out to us. Until the next time, if you want to see videos just like this, it's right here.